It's kind of interesting, Amelia, this uh, Richfield artist wanted to kind of spark some conversation and get a story going, and it turned out uh, the State Fair ended up kicking his artwork out and removing it. His name is uh, Nick Rindo. He said he wanted to create some crop art, a portrait of Bill Cosby using canola seeds, which are also called rape seeds. Cosby's been accused of drugging and sexually assaulting dozens of women. And within a day, uh, Rindo's portrait was removed from the fairgrounds. But as John Lordson shows us, Rindo says his art was not meant to be offensive. I can't even imagine trying to do it. Look, there's Ola. But I can appreciate it. It's an old tradition influenced by current events. Each year, the crop art display in the egg building brings out the creativity in Minnesota artists. Oh my gosh, cute. Look at the kitties. Seeds are used to create wordplay pieces like Hall in Oats and tributes to stars like David Letterman and Leonard Nimoy. I like it. Live long and prosper. <laughs> it's made out of blood, sweat, and tears. Artist Nick Rindo created the Leonard Nimoy piece as a tribute to the Star Trek actor who passed away earlier this year. He spent 100 hours creating the portrait, but it's another portrait that Nick created that got a completely different kind of reaction. How bad do things have to be if a portrait of your face is not suitable for the State Fair? Nick says he threw this Bill Cosby piece together in just a couple hours, and he says he used rapeseed to create the portrait. The word play hit me, and I was like, and, and, and I knew it could spawn a lot of conversation if I put it in the State Fair. It did. After receiving several complaints, the portrait was removed after just one day. But Nick says his art isn't pro Cosby. It was simply there to start a conversation about a serious issue. The great thing about crop art is. Thousands of people see it at the State Fair. People go see rap art, and it would have potentially spawned thousands of conversations. And it looks like it is now, but it's happening in a different way. Yeah, the superintendent of the crop art display told us in the 15 years he's been doing this, he's only thrown out one other piece of art. That was a piece of art created by marijuana seeds. This year, in addition to Nick's Cosby piece, he had to throw out another piece that had a sort of Innuendo, Frank, we'll kind of leave it at that. So kind of a busy year so far at the crop art display. Yeah, different for sure. All right, John, thank you.